Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a half case super jumbo break of 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball. This is random team break number 20. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. No nationals in this set this year, so we'll take them out. So we only sold 29 spots. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list three times. One and a two. Your name's first. One, two, and three. After three times, we got Josh Lucas down to Chad Wright. Three times. One and a two, three times for the teams. One, two, and good luck. Three times. Third and final time. Pirates down to Cubs. Wow, touchdown for Clemson. But they, did they leave too much time on the board? Josh Lucas with the Pirates. Dodgers for Josh Givner. John Tadar with the Mets. John Samson with the Blue Jays. Sen Yin with the Angels. Matt Gomes with the Rangers. Josh with the Red Sox. Chris Randone, last spot mojo, Tampa Bay Rays. Adam with the Marlins. Joe P with the White Sox. Joe Fagundis with the Yankees. John Tadaro with the Padres. Michael with the Royals. Andy with the Reds. Richard with the Rockies. Robert with the Phillies. Chad with the Brew Crew. Nick with the A's. Sen Yin with the Cardinals. Nick with the O's. Charles with the Diamondbacks. Rich with the Indians. Michael with the Braves. Ryan with the Twins. Glenn with the Giants. Uh, Michael Coons with the Tigers, Ryan with the Astros, Tim with the Mariners, and Chad with the Cubs. Let's alphabetize by team. All right, and feel free to trade if you'd like. We're going to pause the video when we come back. We'll see if there's any trades and then the break. Welcome back, everybody. A lot of trade offers, some interesting trade offers, but no deals got done. So the list remains the same right here for random team number 20, 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball. Three box, half of... It's half of a super jumbo. Not a jumbo, half of a super jumbo. Three boxes. So the list remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Really appreciate this. There's Chris, last ball, Mojo, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Rays. Good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. Looks like maybe Nick did the first half right here. So there's the second half. They're all marked 2-0 for 20 right there. You can see those. As you know, paper base doesn't ship. Numbered paper, of course, does ship. So now this should bring us pretty much toward to the end of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have time to break jumbo tonight? No. Because this, this Super Jumbo will take us right to the end of the night, Matt. Jumbo is like another hour and a half. Ooh, intercepted. Game over. Wow. Ohio State going for the touchdown. But intercepted in the end zone. No doubt about, wow. Justin Fields can't believe it. So, yeah, Rebel was just saying not, not more than a minute ago, not more than 60 seconds ago. He's saying Ohio State might have a good chance to win this game because they were driving. Wow, no penalties, nothing, no flags. Oh, Fields is so bummed. Is that does that unlock a bounty?
I don't think it does unless we get... Well, we got the under. Right, it has to be a touchdown, defensive touchdown. But we have, what, 50-some-odd points here? So we're under the 60, so that unlocks that bounty. Unless something wacky happened in the last 35 seconds. So we have one, two, three, four, five of the nine. Unless Higgins had more than 50. No, he did not. Trevor Lawrence did not have more than 270 rush passing yards. He had 259. He got close. Justin Fields could have had that second touchdown to unlock a bounty, but he was intercepted in the end zone. And there was no safety and no defensive or special teams touchdowns. But of the nine bount uh, of the ten bounties, five are unlocked. But we got to fill up one more break. It'll go tomorrow, but we ran out of time tonight. But if it still fills by the deadline tonight, we can unlock that. We can give away money to just those people in that break. We're down to 19 on triple threads, 20 down to six on prison basketball. Again, those will have to break tomorrow, but if we fill those by 9.45 LA time, um, we can still run the randomizer for the break credit. Only the people involved in those breaks that fill are involved in the break credit. All right, so let's get this one going. I, think I have all the supplies I need, and we'll roll with it. Good luck, everybody. So this is just paper right here. Paper, set aside over here. Chrome, all the chrome will ship. And of course, this will ship out of 499, Evan Edwards paper for the Marlins. That'll be for Adam Ewald. Out of 250, Braden Shoemake. And Chase Strumpf, not to be confused with Tyler Stumpf in the chat. Chase a strump for the Cubs. Chad Wright. That's not it's not gonna get old from that joke's not gonna get old for me, Tyler. By the way. Tyler, by the way, is saying uh, LSU should make quick work of Clemson if they played like they did today. I think so too. LSU just looks unstoppable. They've got they've got the offense and they've got They've got the defense, too. Oh, that's paper. And then we've got Casey Golden to 499 for the Rockies. Richard Appleton with that one. And we got Alec Manoa to 499. So how many there's I think there's five autographs per uh, super jumbo box, right? And jumbo has three, I think. That's for the Bluebirds, Blue Jays. That goes to John Samuelson got randomized the Blue Jays refractor auto at 4.99. It's their uh, almost top ten pick first round. I think someone was saying that that Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields are not eligible for the draft, right? I think they're still sophomores. Someone was saying, I don't know, I don't follow just follow college as closely, too closely. So there's Cooper Johnson, paper to 250. But are these quarterbacks potentially NFL quarterbacks? Out of four, 94 out of 99. 
And there's Tommy Henry for Charles Byrne and the Diamondbacks. And that's our Morris Aidman going to the Cubs. That would be for Chad Wright. I guess a lot could change in a year but or two. Adam Ewald saying Lawrence is probably the number one pick in the draft in 2021. Having highly rated quarterbacks in each NFL draft, being picked high is always good for the hobby, so I, I'll, I'll root for that. There's Kyle Isbell to 150, blue paper. Just a facsimile autograph. And we've got Antoine Kelly. That's for the Brew Crew, Chad Wright and the Brewers. Mixing my paper and chrome stacks, you guys can't do that. Come on. Paper here, chrome here. Is Trevor Lawrence in that in that mold of, of new quarterback? Can rush, but can still can still throw the ball a little bit, can sling it around a little bit. Seems like that's the modern quarterback these days. Twenty two out of fifty gold paper, Peyton Burdick, and gold shimmer, Brady McConnell, four out of fifty. That's from Michael Tuckley in Kansas City. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the video, too. So if you're watching the replay, you can skip ahead to the end. Unless you want to watch the whole video, I guess. The whole 45-minute, 50-minute video. Here's your chrome. There was no one there in the end zone in that last interception by Ohio State. What happened? Oh. It was just a mix-up on the route. He thought he was coming back outside, but the receiver went inside. Chrome away over here with the paper. This container back here. Numbered cards over here. And the next box, next super jumbo. Good luck, everybody. Well, uh, baseball fans, what do you think about the 2019 MLB draft? I know we got some diehard baseball guys here. 
before the, I think during the trade window, Joe P was talking about, and he's a big baseball guy, he was talking about, he thinks that that someone like C.J. Abrams may turn out to be a better a better major leaguer than number one overall pick Adley Rushman. I mean, obviously, all these guys have only had, only just completed their first professional season at the end of the summer in 2019, but it'll be interesting to see. Rushman, obviously a great college, I think, switch hitting, catching prospect out of Oregon State. These are not too common. The catching thing is interesting. Such a demanding position that maybe... And I don't know if they've done this already. I haven't actually, I've not been following Adley Rushman in the minors, but I could see them kind of maybe early in his career trying to get some more positional, um, you know, variability, flexibility for him, which seems to be happening a lot in baseball these days. A lot of, a lot of players can play multiple positions, sort of like basketball, like the idea of positionless basketball. I think we're getting there. The base, there's the baseball version of I think is happening where a lot of players are kind of asked to play multiple positions regularly and the players being like used to that so maybe if Adley Rushman if they move him early on to like catcher outfield maybe third base something like that just so he doesn't spend too much time behind the plate Unless he's just that unique beast. Every once in a while, you'll get those unique catching beasts who are just like, yeah, I can catch for the bulk of my entire career. I want to do it. That's how I want to be. I want to be a catcher, you know, a certain kind of mindset for a catcher. Smooth, what's going on? The promo not unlocked. We are one break away. All we got to do is fill one more break. Now, that one more break, unfortunately, will not break tonight. Out of 250, Josh Young, purple paper, because we're just out of time after this break. There's Davis Wenzel, Rangers, Matt Gomes. But if it fills by the deadline, which is in about 30 minutes, if it fills, then we'll add that group. That un we'll unlock the promo. We'll do the randomizer. I'm down to do that. I think the closest thing to filling would be that Prism Basketball half caser. We, if we sell out like five or six more teams there straight up, then we can uh, we can randomize do the randomizer for the promo because we've got about five forty dollar break credits to give away. So it's it's LSU Clemson in the national championship. What is everyone? What's everyone's early take? Who wins? At 4.99, there's Ryan Zephyrion for the Red Sox. That'll be for Josh Lucas. There's Gunnar Henderson to 250 for the Orioles, and Ethan Small is your autograph. Chad Wright with the Brew Crew. Rebel says Clemson. Late first round pick there. I mean, LSU is, and again, this is coming from, from a person that, that I don't watch college football too closely. I just kind of gear up for it during bowl season, basically. Um, but from a, from a casual point of view, which is me, um, Looked like LSU looked unstoppable, but maybe maybe how much does coaching matter? Dabo Sweeney seems to have the coaching edge, right? Absolutely. 
And there's Nick Lodolo. Nice. Nick Lodolo, red legs. That's going to be for Andy Schoen. Nice. Nick Lodolo is a top 10 pick. Seventh overall. And we've got, that's sometimes these are numbered out of 250. Helio Ramos, Joey Barton, Hunter Bishop. That's a good trio for my rivals, the Giants. It's good for the hobby, though. That'll go to San Francisco. That'll be for Glenn. John Sadaro saying, I bought the Wizards in Prism, which are pretty expensive. Thanks, John. So the teams remaining, he says, are pretty affordable. Yeah, if we sell those out by the 45-minute mark, then we can add that group to the promo. That'll be our fifth break. Oh, there's only four teams left? Brian says LSU easy in the national championship. All right, there's Matt Wallner to 99. And the autograph is Ryan Nelson for the Snakes. Charles Byrne has the D-backs. Paper, it's free. Is a 4K TV worth it? I just saw a 4K TV ad. Is 4K TV worth it? I don't have a 4K TV. Out of 499, there's Aaron Schunk for the Rockies, Richard Appleton. I feel like once I get a 4K TV, they'll just be like, now introducing the Sony 6K TV. I'll be like, 6K? Nice Cody Hosey. Dodgers, Josh Gibner with the Dodgers and the Cody Hosey. It's my Dodgers, 96 out of 150. Big thanks to uh, Joe P for a little Christmas gift right there. Looks His autograph pretty consistent, I'd say, from the ball to the uh, to the card. So good job, Cody. And thanks to Joe P. And this is for Josh Givener. Late first round pick for the Dodgers. Possible future Justin Turner. Wait, there's already 8K TVs out, Rebel's saying? Yeah, so what... When does it stop, Rebel? When does it stop? No one knows, says Rebel. So eventually there'll be 8K TVs. So by the time I'm ready to buy a 4K TV, there's 8K TVs.
I feel like I feel like there's I feel like there's no difference. I feel like it's just those TV companies just trying to get you to buy a new TV every other year. There, I said it. Big it's big just big TV trying to scam us little guys. There's a 98 a Samsung 98 inch 8K TV with a seventy thousand dollars on. That's ridiculous. I mean, but you, I don't. You wouldn't even get. Like nothing's out in 8K. Why would you need an 8K, right? Unless I'm missing something. Things still have to be filmed or or produced in 8K to take advantage of an 8K television, right? So. So if there's not a lot of things in 8K. What's the point of me buying a $70,000 TV? I don't understand. Last five autographs out of here. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> right, Rich. Absolutely. Rich is like, at that price, 8K TV at that price? Rex is like, if I'm watching the new Black Widow picture, Scarlett Johansson better be in my living room. Right, actually, Rich, I feel like I feel like for seventy thousand dollars, you can probably you can probably do some sort of some sort of charity auction or something like that, where you can have a date with Scarlett Johansson. Like that's probably more viable than. Black Widow movie looks good. So the trailers are before Rise of Skywalker. There's Esteban Floreal, 73 out of 150. And there's Noah's song. Look at that, he's singing a song. That'll be for Josh Lucas and the Red Sox. And we got Hunter Bishop, 387 out of 499. Giants, that's going to go to Glenn. And there's Jamari Baylor for the Phillies. That's going to go to Robert Throne.
defeats the ball. Hannity gets off for Lawrence and Fields coming out of high school, depending on which service he's in here, regarding the most accurate they were wanting to. Number two. All right, there's Joey Bart, 69, nice, out of 250 for the Giants. Another, uh, another parallel here for Glenn. That was your second overall pick back in 2018. So back-to-back -back years, top two, 2018, one of the top two picks was a catcher. And then this year, top pick, catcher, Adley Rushman. There's Matt Gore. Did they go to the same college? I want to say no, right? Maybe. No. No. ACC Player of the Year. Anyway. Uh, Matt Gorski. Purple parallel autograph for the Pirates. That's going to go to Josh Lucas. 242 out of 250. Wait, hold on. For for targeting calls, it's just one and done. If you get hit with targeting, you're out. You're ejected from the game. It kind of gives collegiate refs a little too much power, doesn't? And I don't know. I just feel like that's kind of weird. Hmm. Paper, 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 paper. I've lost track of the autographs in this box, but we'll do the recap in a little bit. I don't know how many are left. One or two. There's Jamari Baylor, purple paper, 70 out of 250. And George Kirby and another Matt Gorski autograph. For the Pirates. And George Kirby, blue chrome, 125 to 150 for Tim Smith and the M's. Sorry, Tristan Casas. All right, there's one more autograph back there. I think that's probably the fifth one of the box. There's Andrew Vaughn, 231 out of 499, paper for Joe P. and the White Sox. And the autograph is going to go to the Yankees. It's green chrome, 52 out of 99. Josh Smith for Joe Fugundis and the Yankees. Got to randomize the Yankees here in Super Jumbo number 20. There he is. And looks like the rest is going to be paper, ladies and gentlemen. And there you have it. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. That was Super Jumbo number 20. Let's do a quick autograph recap right here. So we should have 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 autographs. Perfect. Five in each 
box right here. A couple Gorskis in the same box. Nice Cody Hosey. Ryan Nelson, Nick Lodolo, Ethan Small. Some nice color right here. Gold Shimmer, Alec Manoa. And we started off with Chase Stumpf, Strumpf. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Super Jumbo number 20 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.